My name is Neil Jamison. I'm the research leader here at Opus Research. In the Opus Wind Tunnel, we do quite a wide variety of testing, ranging from simple projects looking at wind flows around buildings and the effects of wind on pedestrians, through to wind loads on the building structure and wind loads on the cladding. That's you know, the wind pressures trying to suck the glass off a building. We do a wide variety of what we might term one-off projects. For example, we've looked at wind flows around cricket balls for swing bowling. We've looked at snow drift studies at Scott Basin, Antarctica. We've looked at noise, wind noise around buildings. For example, the Supreme Court screen in Wellington. We did quite an extensive study on that. New buildings in an urban environment can have a significant impact for pedestrians walking around them. New buildings can cause significant increases in wind speeds around the building and that can have a dramatic impact on how pedestrians experience that. For example, new buildings can sometimes double the wind speed that people experience around a building. And because the wind force on people is proportional to the speed squared, that can result in a quadrupling of the force that people feel. Wind loading on the cladding of a building is quite a complex issue. Uh, the code that people normally design to is quite conservative and was originally based on testing for square and rectangular buildings and nowadays architects are not designing square and rectangular buildings very often. So the wind loads on the cladding are very important and it's very important to be able to measure that in a wind tunnel. Wind buildings do have a significant impact on the pedestrian environment, we will often need to look at making changes. Now those changes can range from something quite as simple as putting a canopy on a building that doesn't already have one, right through to changing the entire design of the building, both its plan form, its height, its shape, a whole range of options are available to us. It really comes down to what uh, people are willing to, to accept. We welcome visitors here at Opus Research. We're keen to show people what we can do in terms of wind tunnel testing and how we can solve their wind issues. With our range of model making skills and wind tunnel itself, we can test buildings and structures anywhere in the world. Mm -hmm.